Nami couldn't help but worry over the swordsman over the past few days. She knew something went down with Kuma back on Thriller Bark, and the navigator was sure Sanji knew what happened since he hadn't been giving Zoro a hard time lately. Nami noticed that he ran out of breath a lot quicker when he was training or whenever he tried to push himself. She was tempted to confront Zoro, but Nami knew he wouldn't tell her because he had his pride, or something. Nami found him one night out on the deck, staring out at the ocean. She walked up beside him, and before Nami could open her mouth, Zoro beat her to it. I'm fine, he told her. Nami froze in shock. So the swordsman knew that she was worried about him the whole time. Even if he did, it didn't change the fact that he wasn't fine. Y you're not. Nami nearly cursed at her voice breaking. That didn't help the tears that were threatening to fall. Zoro sighed and put his arm around the navigator and pulled her close to him. You don't need to worry. He felt her fingers clench his shirt as she tried not to cry. I'll be fine. He always was.